Today we're talking about the Sony A7C. This is an announcement by Sony that's upcoming, apparently, that's going to be targeting creators or vloggers. And this is a very interesting concept for me because it's a full frame camera in an APS-C body with a lot of features that are missing, but some new ones, but also very expensive? I'm confused. All right, guys, welcome back. And today we're talking about the Sony a7C. This is a interesting camera announcement that's coming up here, apparently in September. So we're gonna go over what we know about it so far. And I wanted to get your thoughts on it as well. And guys, I wanted to just let you know that upcoming here, we've got another lens giveaway. We've got another beautiful Viltrox 85 f 1.8. Beautiful seal, brand new for you. We're gonna auction this off, and by auction, I mean whoever is subscribed at the time is gonna get a chance to win. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely, if you like this video, and make sure you drop your comments down below. I wanna know what you think about this camera as well. So guys, having said that, what is this thing? Who is this thing for? It's a full frame, 24 megapixel camera, and this sensor is going to be packed into an A6600 body, apparently. So very interesting. It's got a fully articulating screen found in the Sony A7S III. Very interesting, and I really hope that's kind of the standard nowadays. We're gonna see that moving forward in everything Sony brings out because, well, it's kind of expected, I think. So that's pretty interesting. Apparently it's going to have IBIS. So that is going to be a huge feature for vloggers, for creators, somebody looking to do some video and just get that thing right up in your face. It's got to have IBIS, but Sony's really not known for their IBIS. So is it going to be drastically improved? I would love to see that. So even if we add some electronic image stabilization or a combination, I'd like to see them do something like that. So that would be interesting. So IBIS, that's kind of neat, but what is it lacking? Well, it is gonna have one card slot, apparently. So that rules it out as a professional camera right there, if you ask me, and probably a lot of people. But I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think about that? That's a debate that's been going on for a while. Let me know what you think about that. But for me, that's probably just some cost cutting that they've thrown in there. And if you're a vlogger, you're probably not too, too concerned with redundancy, but hey, who knows? Everybody's different. So what else does it have? It's got an EVF apparently in the corner and I've heard rumors that it might not even have an EVF. So it better have an EVF and hopefully it's in the corner and it's doubtful that it's gonna have a pop-up flash like the old A6000 series. I think we're past that and I don't know how much a flash is gonna be needed on a video tailored vlogging camera. So having said that guys, it's also got a Z-Type battery, which is amazing. And I think once again, should be the Sony standard in every camera moving forward. It's an incredible battery. It's a game changer. And especially when you're doing 4K video, it's gonna eat that thing up. So maybe in video, we're not hearing a lot of specs in terms of video, but I don't know, maybe 4K 60. That's what creators are asking for. So I think that's kind of the standard we got to set. So that would be really interesting to see. Obviously not some crazy, crazy huge bit rate, but well, you never know. We might get 10 bit, but most likely if this is going to be a budget camera, maybe they stick with eight. I'm not really sure. Next, apparently it's gonna have eye autofocus in video, of course, and that is again, be a must for sure for vloggers, definitely. So hopefully that's an addition for in there. But let's talk about the big one. What about the price of this thing? Well, apparently it's been confirmed that the price of this camera is going to be 2,100 euros, which equates to 2,499 US dollars, which if you ask me is, absolutely bananas. It doesn't make any sense. Who's going to buy that? You can buy the a7 III for 1800 these days. So obviously that's not the case, or there's going to be a lot more in there, some things that they're not telling us because that just doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, why not just wait for the a7 IV? And well, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. We've got the ZX1, the vlogger style camera, I guess more of an entry level camera. We've got the a Sony a7S III that just came out. So that kind of had them 
the entry and the professional, I guess maybe they're trying for a mid-range kind of vlogging or creator camera now. So maybe that's what they're thinking. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you're thinking about this thing, what your wish list is, what you love, what you hate about it. And uh, let's talk, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this content, you wanna see more just like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.